Grandpa George and Grandpa Pig are hard at work digging. Ooh. Peppa has found a little cup. Oh, that looks like a very old teacup. George has found an enormous bone. Dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's treasure, Grandpa. How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure. How exciting. I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr Fox says it's an antique. Very rare. One of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Mmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? A coin. Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> My goodness, this bone is the best of the lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Ooh, what's this, Grandpa? That is manure. Wonderful stuff. I put it on my vegetables to make them grow big and strong. It smells really smelly. It's the muckiest, smelliest thing in the garden. Uh, probably best if you two stand back. There. Let's go spread some muck. This is Grandpa Pig's cabbage patch. Hello, cabbages. Would you like some manure? <laughs> it is getting windy. Hold on to your hat, George. Oh, dear. The wind has blown George's hat off. George, catch it! <laughs> George's hat is caught in a tree. George, you are all muddy. Oh, but your hat is still clean. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I'll get it down for you. Uh, perhaps I had better help. No, Grandpa, I can do it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. Pepper is covered in mud. I see two little piggies who need a bath. <laughs> George's hat is on top of some reeds in the pond. Lucky for us, your hat is still clean, George. But how do we get it? This is a job for a grown-up. Hmm, I will need a stick. Don't fall in, Grandpa. I know what I'm doing, Pepper. I can reach it! I see a big piggy who needs a bath. <laughs> Grandpa Pig, what on earth are you doing? I'm having a cup of tea. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... nothing. 
Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little ones. Mm, Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. I don't think we want Grandad Dog's rusty old tomatoes. Uh. Cooey! Grandad Dog! Ah, oh, Granny Pig! Lovely to see you this fine morning. Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted, ever. Ah. How did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil, and I haven't managed to grow any basil. My... Oh, Daddy Pig looks like a scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George, bath time. Oh, but what if the birdies come back? Don't worry, Pepper. I'll make sure the birds don't eat the seeds. Thank you, Daddy. Good luck, Daddy Pig. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ah, this is nice. Daddy, you have to be the scarecrow. What? Oh, shoo, shoo, naughty birds. Now, stay there until the birdies go to bed. Oh, oh. OK, Pepper. All the birdies have gone to bed. Daddy Pig can go inside now. It is morning. George, let's look at our flower garden. <laughs> Ooh, baby plants. Morning. Ah, your plants have started to grow. Soon they'll have flowers on them. A little snail has come to take a look. Oh, dear. Snails like eating plants. Grandpa Pig, can you take Barbara to your garden? Um, OK. I'll take care of Barbara. It is one week later. Peppa! George! Come and look! My flowers! They're so pretty! And look at George's plant. <laughs> it's a beanstalk! And it goes all the way up to a giant's castle. Oh, oh, no, Pepper. But it does go quite high. George's flower is taller than our house. Oh, ho, ho. George has grown a sunflower. Here are my cabbages, broccoli and sprouts. Ooh. Potatoes, carrots and beetroots live here. And over there is the fruit. What is this, Grandpa? That, Pepper, is a weed. What is a weed? A weed is a cheeky plant growing in the wrong spot. Oh. Pull it out and throw it in this bucket. There's no room for weeds in my tidy garden. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is very proud of his garden. Maybe there is room to grow a little strawberry here. In the middle of my carrots? No, Peppa. Strawberries belong with a fruit. Everything has its place. Isn't that right, Granny Pig? Yes, Grandpa. Can we find a little place for this? Uh, no. What is it, Granny? It's a plastic gnome, Peppa. And he's going to live in our garden. Oh, no, he isn't. There's no room. There's plenty of room. What about here? I can't have that ugly thing looking at me all day. Pepper, George, 
Do you think my gnome looks ugly? No, Granny. I think he looks cute. <laughs> there, Grandpa. You're outnumbered. The gnome stays. Ah! And here come the rest of them. What? Mr Bull is bringing Mr Gnome a truckload of new friends. Yippee! But gardens are for plants, not plastic. Moo! Where do you want the gnomes? We don't want gnomes, thank you. Oh! Goodbye. No! Naughty Grandpa Pig. Those are Granny Pig's gnomes. Oh, it appears we do want gnomes. Okie dokie! They're lovely! First, I pick a smelly flower. Very flowery. Then I put it in my beaker. No, George. You can't put grass in my perfume. It needs the smell of flowers. Smell! Yuck! George does not like smelly flowers. Grandpa Pig is in his herb garden. Grandpa! Grandpa! Smell this! Pooey! It smells like pond water. It's my special perfume. I made it with flowers from the garden. Oh, yes. It's the most beautiful perfume in the world. Yes. Do you like it, George? No. George doesn't like the smell of flowers. Take this bucket, George. You can make perfume out of something else. I have got lots of lovely smelly things in my herb garden. This is rosemary. I like to use it in my cooking. Hmm, it smells interesting. <coughs> this is mint. Oh, that smells very minty. <coughs> and this is lavender. Smells like Granny Pig's perfume. <laughs> wow! That's a strong smell of lavender. Ah, Granny Pig, you smell nice. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Granny, Granny, smell this. <laughs> what is it? It's my perfume. Oh, yes. It's lovely. Has George made some perfume too? No, Granny. He doesn't like the smell of anything. <laughs> we'll all hide and Pepper can find us. OK. One, two. Everyone must find a hiding three, place before Pepper counts four. to ten. Danny and Candy are hiding in the branches of a little tree. Zoe, Pedro, and Rebecca are hiding behind a fence. Susie and Emily are hiding behind a bush. Nine, ten. Where's your knot? Here I come. <laughs> I know where you are. Oh. <laughs> oh. Pepper cannot find anyone. <gasps> this is impossible. Freddy Fox has come to play. Hello, Freddy. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. What are you doing? We're playing hide and seek. But I can't find anyone. Shall I find them for you? You can try, but it's impossible. Watch this. <laughs> Found you. Oh, hello, Freddy. Ha ha, there you are. Oh. Boom. Boom. Oh. Freddy Fox has found everyone. How did you do that? I'm good at smelling. What's smelling got to do with it? I can find you by sniffing your smell. <laughs> I'm not smelly. I had a bath last night. I know. You smell nice. Oh. <laughs> I could even find you with my eyes closed. Go on, then. <laughs> find Susie with your eyes closed. Easy. Hi, Susie. One, two, three. Susie is looking for somewhere to hide. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. 
Freddy is looking for Susie with his eyes closed. Hello? Grandpa, remember those old boots I gave you? Uh, yes. Daddy needs them back urgently. You have been looking after them. Um, they have been watered. Grandpa Pig is growing tomatoes in Daddy's lucky boots. We need them for the puddle jump today. Righto, I'll meet you there. Everyone has come to watch Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Please welcome your friend and man, Mr. Potato! Hooray! Good luck, Daddy Pig! Oh, but where are your lucky boots? Uh, here they are. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. I can smell tomatoes. And now for Daddy Pig's puddle jump. Daddy Pig is thinking. Ready, steady, Go! I must become one with the puddle. I must be the puddle. <laughs> the puddle has gone! <laughs> the puddle has gone over all of us! Daddy Pig has become one with the puddle. Everyone has become one with the puddle. It's a new world record! Hooray! Champion Daddy Pig! And who is this? I'm Peppa Pig! One day, I will be the champion puddle jumper. I've been training her. Ah, to be trained by the master. What have you learned? Uh, if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> <laughs> A little bird is eating Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Oi! Get off my seeds! So that's where all my seeds went. Into the little bird's tummy. <laughs> Two more little birds are eating Grandpa Pig's seeds. Oh, look! Ah! Shoo, shoo! What's all this noise? Granny Pig, the birds are eating all my flower seeds. So we're chasing the birds away. There's no point chasing them. They'll just come back again. Look. We need a scarecrow. What's a scarecrow? A scarecrow is a straw man that scares birds away. What a good idea, Granny Pig. I'll make one. Come on, everyone. Bye-bye, little birds. We're going to make a scarecrow. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's garden shed. There'll be plenty of things in here to make a scarecrow. First, we need two sticks and some string. We'll find them. <laughs> Pepper has found some sticks. George has found some string. Good. I'll tie the sticks together to make the body. Granny Pig has found some straw and an old sack. Lovely. I'll put the straw in the sack to make the head. <laughs> Now the Scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. Ooh. George has found a dress. <laughs> Silly George. Mr Scarecrow doesn't want to wear a dress. <laughs> Pepper has found a coat. Very good, Pepper. George has found a hat. Very good, George. Mr Scarecrow. Needs a face. That's right. Would you and George like to paint a face? Yes, please. <laughs> and I'm going to eat up all Grandpa Pig's lettuce. Oi! Keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails. <laughs> and when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, I'll hide in my little house. <laughs> <laughs> All of Peppa's friends are here. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Susie. Have you come to play with Peppa and George? Yes. I don't know where they are. 
It's just me and these two snails here. We a cheeky snail. We a cheeky snail. Boys! <laughs> 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 we were pretending to be snails. <laughs> Can we be snails too? I don't think I have enough baskets for you all. Aww. You could be something else, though. Something exciting from the garden. A carrot? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. No, Rebecca, not carrots. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> What's that buzzing sound? It's coming from that little house. Grandpa, why is that doll's house making a funny buzzing noise? That's not a doll's house, Peppa. It's a bee's house. It's called a hive. Ooh. Look, here's one now. What's she doing? She's collecting nectar from the flower, and then she flies back to the hive to make it into honey. Hmm, I like honey. Let's pretend to be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Yes, let's be bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz, 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 Bye. buzz, buzz. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. There's no need to phone Grandpa. I just need to push a bit harder. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh, I know. Let's phone Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Could you help us cut some very long grass? Oh, <laughs> certainly. I'll be over right away. Bye. I think this is a job for Betsy. <laughs> Grandpa Pig is driving his motor mower over to Peppa's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! Hello, everyone. I hear there's some grass that needs cutting. And it's just a bit too long for my lawnmower. Don't worry. Betsy will have it done in no time. Is your lawnmower called Betsy? She certainly is. <laughs> Hello, Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, can we ride on Betsy? Of course you can. Hop aboard. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> we'll have this grass cut in no time. Hold tight. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy is very good at cutting grass. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> there. Finished. Grandpa, you've missed a bit. Oh, yes. What's this? Oh, the spotty ball. <laughs> Thank you for finding our ball, Grandpa. You can be a wriggly worm. <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> oh dear. George does not want to be a worm. He wants to be a butterfly. George, when I was a little piggy, I used to like playing at being a worm. It's very easy to be a worm. I'll show you how. First, you have to lie down on the ground. Then, you wriggle around. Ha <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> George and Grandpa Pig are having such fun being wriggly worms. <laughs> I'm a little butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. Yes, Peppa, you're a beautiful butterfly. 
<laughs> Grandpa George, what are you doing? We are wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a wriggly worm too. I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wriggly worm. How do you do? I love you. I'm a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What animal do you want to be now? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Look, Grandpa, there's a little frog. <laughs> Why don't you play at being frogs? Hmm, frogs are not as pretty as butterflies or as wiggly as worms. But frogs do play a game you like. Mm. Peppa Pig! Peppa Pig! Hello, Peppa, George. This is Grandpa Pig's vegetable garden. He has grown all these vegetables himself. Grrr. What's this? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? <laughs> Let's choose some vegetables for lunch. <laughs> Pepper, do you like tomatoes? Yes, Grandpa Pig. George, do you like tomatoes? No. George does not like tomatoes. Oh, dear. Do you both like lettuce? Yes, Grandpa Pig. No. George does not like lettuce. Oh, dear. I must have something that George likes. Do you like cucumber? Yuck. George does not like cucumbers, and he does not like lettuce, and he does not like tomatoes. Well, George, what vegetable do you like? Chocolate cake. <laughs> Silly George. Chocolate cake isn't a vegetable. <laughs> Maybe George will like the vegetables when they're made into a lovely salad. <laughs> oh, lovely fresh tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. First, we have to wash them. Pepper and George help <laughs> Granny Pig wash the vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's enough washing. Granny Pig has made the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber into a salad. Grandpa Pig, can you call everyone to lunch? Lunch! <laughs> Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. I've been away for a year and a day, sailing around the world. All the way around? Yes. What did you do at the bottom? Did you fall off? No, I held on tightly. Wow, what an adventure. It was, and I've brought back presents for all of you. Ooh, presents. Here is a drum for Danny from a far away jungle. Thank you, Daddy. Very good, Danny. I can bang it louder. Perhaps that's enough banging for now. And for all your friends, some seashells from a desert island. Ooh. If you hold them to your ear, you can hear the sea. Yes, I can hear the seaside. And for my darling mummy dog, a chest of gold and jewels. Oh, how lovely. That will come in handy. Ah, it's great to be home. <laughs> it is morning. Captain Dog is up early. Daddy, what are you doing? I'm checking the wind, Daddy. Why? Sailors always check the wind before they sail. But you're not a sailor anymore. Oh, yes. I did say that. Didn't I? Do you miss the sea, Daddy? No, no, I don't miss the sea. But I do miss my boat. I've got a boat that Grandad Dog made for me. Aha! That's an exact copy of my boat. You could help me sail it. That sounds like fun! 
Pepper and her friends are at the duck pond. Ahoy there, shipmates! Room for another boat on the briny waters? Yes. Excellent. Danny, our boat needs a captain. It can't sail itself. Daddy, will you be my boat's captain? I'd be delighted, Danny. <laughs> that is some dinosaur. He's a Brontosaurus. Actually, the correct name is Apatosaurus. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. Right, my little explorers. Are you ready for the next bit of the adventure? Yes, Frankie Rabbit! We have to find an egg. An egg? But eggs are little. It could be anywhere. Leave it to me. Foxies love hunting for eggs. Freddy Fox has a very good sense of smell. An egg. It's huge. Why is the egg so big? It's a dinosaur egg. Is it real? No, it's better than real. It's pretend. Watch this. <laughs> the dinosaur egg has a birthday cake inside it. <laughs> it's not a pretend cake, is it, Grampy Rabbit? No. The cake is very real and very tasty. Who wants some? Me! Me! Me. Birthday boy first. Here you go, Freddy. Happy, Happy birthday, Freddy! <laughs> Time for a bit of song and dance. Everyone copy me. Do the stomp, do the dinosaur stomp, do the roar, do the dinosaur roar. My best birthday ever! <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi! Did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, yes. Baby Bear said, that was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit. No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world. Pepper and her family have been for a lovely day out in the mountains. Time to go home. Back to the car. Thank you for visiting the mountain beauty spot. See you again soon. <coughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <coughs> You're playing with 
with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. For Grandpa Pig's chickens, Sarah, Jemima, Vanessa and Neville. Hello, chickens. I need to put the chickens to bed. Night, night, chickens. Night, night, chickens. Night, night. Why aren't the slugs and snails in bed, Grandpa? Because they're up all night eating my vegetables. Some animals eat in the daytime, like my chickens, and some animals eat at night, like... Oh! Mr Fox. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Putting your chickens to bed, are you? Oh, yes. Nice and cosy in the hen house. Jolly good. Well, I'll be on my way. Good night. Good, good night. night. Now, as I was saying, some animals eat at night, like... <laughs> oh, hello. Grandpa, there's a little animal in your bucket. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, it's a hedgehog. They like to eat slugs and snails. Hello, hedgehog. <coughs> oh, he's rolled into a ball. Yes, Peppa. He is very shy. Come out, Mr Hedgehog. Don't be scared. I like hedgehogs. They are very good at keeping slugs and snails off my lovely lettuce. <laughs> Bye-bye, Hedgehog. Bye-bye. Are there any more night animals, Grandpa? Yes, there are moths. Ooh, they look like butterflies. Butterflies that come out at night. They light the torchlight. When it goes off, they leave. When the light goes on, they come back. <laughs> Can I try? OK. Bye-bye, moths. Hello, moths. Bye-bye, moths. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We're sailing. We're canoeing. We're peddling. <laughs> <laughs> Look, an island. We could go there for our picnic. Hooray! Oh. <laughs> The island is a bit small to have a picnic on. We can have our picnic in the boats. Who'd like a sandwich? Me, please! <laughs> Here's some bread, Mrs Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Duck loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Come in, boats! One, two and three. Your time is up. One, two and three. That's us. Let's see who can get back first. We'll have a race. Yes! Pedal faster, Daddy. I'm not sure I can pedal much faster. Oh, Daddy Pig. I'll do the pedalling. Quick on, Mummy. This is quite hard work, isn't it? Aha! We'll be 
carried back by the wind, Danny. Oh. What is it? The wind has stopped. Without any wind, the sailing boat cannot go. We'll just have to wait for the wind to pick up again. How long will that take? I don't know. It could be weeks. Can't we use the engine? No, oh, you don't have engines on sailing boats, Danny. Oh. The sailing boat does have an engine. Full sail! <laughs> Emily and her family are in the lead. Head on fast, the mummy! Oh. We're going to win the race! <laughs> <laughs> Here come Danny and Captain Dog. Hooray! We win! <laughs> <laughs> that was exhausting. Next time we'll take a sailing boat. Yes. Sailing boats have engines on them. Daddy? See you later, Danny. I've decided to sail around the world again. Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Oh! Ah! You were asleep. Uh, yes. Sorry. You're lucky we're friendly pirates. <laughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes! And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> the pirates are off to bury the treasure chest over a hill Round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we've buried it? Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, an X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Oh! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro? Don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello. Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Who goes there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, I don't know, Mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden. Oh, dear. How are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map. Mummy Pony is using Peppa's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, an X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! Thank Well, I'm taking the shortcut. All right. Who wants to go through a blackberry bush? Me. And who wants to go on the path? Me. <laughs> Race you, Daddy. Ho, ho. I'll get there first. Bye. I hope the fish pond is still here. Yes, everything seems a bit different to what Daddy remembers. What's that? It's the fish pond. George, let's see the little fish. <laughs> oh, Daddy said that the fish were tiny. But they're ginormous. It's been a long time since Daddy was here. The fish have got a lot bigger. <laughs> like Daddy's tummy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Where is Daddy? Oh, he might be lost. I'd better ring him. There's a phone ringing in that bush. Hello, Mr Pig speaking. It's Daddy. Oh, <laughs> hello. I'm stuck. Hello, Daddy. Hang on, we'll pull you out. One, two, three, pull. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the fish pond. Let's see the little fish. Whoa, that's a big fish. Oh, look, there's something glittering. They're coins. 
When I was little, we used to throw a coin in the pond and make a wish. Can we throw coins in? <laughs> of course. I wish the fish pond stays here forever. Oh, oh, that's what I wished for when I was a little piggy. And your wish came true, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes, I would say so. <laughs> right, are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady? There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> that is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh! We thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. I've a fluffy tail and bouncy legs. I like eating carrots and chocolate eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going for the picnic? To a special place in the outback. Ooh. Lying in an aeroplane on a sunny day. Going to a picnic a long, long way away Going to the Outback on a sunny day Flying to the Outback a long, long way away <laughs> <laughs> I love the Outback! Um, what is the Outback? We're flying over it now! Oh, it looks like a desert! It kind of is, but the Outback is also a special, magical place for us. Ooh. Here is our picnic spot. With our special picnic tree. It's the only tree for miles. <laughs> wow, it's hot. Have you got any water? Too right. We all need water. Water is a precious thing in the Outback, so don't... Ah, nice and cool. Waste it. Daddy, you have to drink it, not splash it around. Ah. Uh. No worries. Let's cook up a good old-fashioned Australian picnic. Oh, sounds lovely. Should we collect wood for the campfire? You don't need wood when you've got gas. Mr Kangaroo has a gas barbecue. When we have a picnic, Mrs Duck always shows up. Ah, there's no chance of Mrs Duck showing up in the middle of a desert. Oh. It is a duck-billed platypus. Mrs Duck-billed platypus always shows up when we have picnics. <laughs> Food's ready. Corn on the cob for everyone. Hooray! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Everyone likes corn on the cob. Colors of the rainbow. That's coral. 
coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish. There's a tiny red one. And a spiky green one. What's that? That's a turtle. Ooh. Hello, Mrs. Turtle. How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> Look, a little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, <laughs> you're right, Peppa. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. Look at the view. Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains. Like this. Yodle! 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 <laughs> Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Pepper loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Pepper. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. <laughs> oh. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? The ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. Goodness me. <laughs> home time. All aboard. It's time to go home. Everybody has had a great time. <laughs> Let's all sing a song. Can we have the Bing Bong song, please? Oh, oh. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the, the Bing, Bing Bong song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a Bing and a Bong and a Bing. Bong, Bing, Bong, Bing, Bong, Bing, Bing, Bong, Bing. Bedroom. Your bedroom? But where is your house? Pepper cannot see Rebecca's house anywhere. This hill is our house. It's called a burrow. Ooh. I'll show you. See you later. See you later. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have stairs. We have tunnels. Wow. Rebecca's house is a bit different to Pepper's. This is our bedroom. Wow! You have a bed and a window and a toy box, just like us. Of course! <laughs> I like your house. I wish I was a rabbit. I know! 
Shall I teach you both how to be rabbit? Yes, please. <coughs> First, you have to twitch your nose and squeak like this. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. <laughs> Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. Delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck. George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well, more for us then. <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside, I'll show you. <laughs> 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 Rabbits like hopping. You're very good, Rabbit. Lunchtime, children. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. George. <laughs> Pepper and George are following the footprints. Look! The footprints were made by a little bird. She's flown into a tree. Where? Here, Peppa. Look through the binoculars. The binoculars make everything look bigger. I can see one, two, three baby birds. Ah! Oh, I wonder what they're eating. Yeah! They're eating worms! That's disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what little footprints? The footprints are being made by ants. They're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? <laughs> yes. Talking of lunch, let's have our picnic. Oh, the picnic. Daddy Pig, you've left the picnic in the car, haven't you? Uh, yes. But it's not a problem. We'll just go back to the car to eat. But which way is the car? My map will show us. This way. Oh, who put that tree there? It's not on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost, aren't we? Uh, yes. How are we going to find our little car? George has found more footprints. What big footprints? Dinosaur. Very interesting. What? Has George found some real dinosaur footprints? No. These are our footprints. And if we follow our footprints, we'll find the way back to our car. And our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Nothing can stop us finding our car now. We're home and dry. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Luckily, I remembered the umbrella. Now, let's put up our tents. Peppa and her friends are putting up their tents. <laughs> Children, you must each find a partner to share your tent. Susie, shall we share a tent? <laughs> I said I'd share with Zoe. Oh, sorry, Susie. I said I'd share with Rebecca. Rebecca, you said you'd share with me. Oh, yes. <laughs> Emily, who are you going to share a tent with? Um, Zoe. OK. Good. Now you can share with me. OK. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now. I need sticks to make a campfire. We'll get sticks. But me and Pedro want to get sticks. Ha ha, you can all collect <laughs> sticks. <laughs> Peppa and her friends collect sticks for the campfire. <laughs> Wonderful. It is night time. Peppa and her friends are sitting around the campfire. Children, let's all sing a song. Yes! The Bing Bong song, please. Oh, I'm not sure. Please, please Madam, Madam Gazelle, sing, sing the, the Bing, Bing Bong, Bong song. song. All right. Ooh, we're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, boo. Bong, bing, boo. Oh, 
Now, children, time for bed. <laughs> Good night, children. Good night, Mademoiselle.